Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Game of Thrones when it's coming. In today's episode we are going to focus around the tavern, since the tavern has a bunch of useful stats and also useful things that's related to it that helps out in the game in various ways and of course it can be a little bit uh, difficult or a little bit confusing to see how these things actually affect your game or and also what to focus on in terms of what types of count you have and so on. So we will take a look at that in this video and uh, I will also add a site that helps you determine things at the end of the video that we are going to take a look at. So the first thing that you will notice once you enter the tavern is that there are two um, tabs that you can click on which is the bonus overview one which we are in right now and then the friendship one. In the bonus overview you can see your current stats you have gotten from all your friendship upgrades on your commanders and these are split into uh, aptitude, uh, finance, command, combat rate and leadership and these stats kind of determine various things for example the aptitude gives you an uh, X amount of um, speed ups that you can use on various things um, every uh, 4 hours I believe it is and that can of course crit so you can actually get the double the amount that is actually shown and the same applies for uh, finance except this time it's just gold that you're getting from clicking the button there and then the last one being command is for producing troops and it produces double the amount of tier 3 troops as far as I remember and once you go and unlock tier 4 troops you get 377 in my case uh, which is half of what you, you would have gotten if you had tier 3 troops instead and all these can create of course and are one and uh, one charge is basically left open every four hours and keep in mind that if you only unlock one type of tier 4 troop then you will only get that specific type of tier 4 troop and you won't get all tier 4 troops so you have to unlock all of the tier 4 troops to actually get them in the tavern um, so that's one way if you don't want both and you just don't um, unlock the bows in the research and can avoid it that way at least. Um, battle bonus uh, or slash combat bonus is super important in the sense that it gives you total stats. Uh, keep in mind that there is a limit uh, to the total stats you can get. I believe that if you are 2000 points above your opponent then you will get the 50% uh, total health, total attack, total defense increase uh, compared to your opponent. And this is probably just as a balancing issue or balancing point in this game that's been added that way. So as long as you get out within 2k points of your opponent then you can reduce that. Uh, so if it's 1k then it's only 25% that the opponent gets instead in terms of total stats. And then lastly there's the leadership which increases your army size and rally size bonus. And this is of course really valuable. Um, in my opinion probably leadership is probably the most valuable uh, stat that has that's in the game or in this tavern, uh, followed by combat and aptitude uh, because of the utility that you have in those. But um, that's kind of roughly of how these different stats work. We are now taking a look at the friendship tab and the friendship tab shows you an overview of how far your friendship has reached with the various commanders and keep in mind that commanders can be upgraded to a certain level depending on their awakening and their quality. For example, grey commanders or grey quality commanders can be awakened or not awakened. They can be upgraded until uh, friendship level 10. Uh, green quality can be upgraded until um, friendship level 20. Blue until 30. Uh, purple until 45. And then gold can be upgraded to 60. And then from for each awakening star that the commander has, you can add five levels on top. So if you have a four star awakened commander at gold, then you'll be able to upgrade the friendship level up into level 80, as far as I remember. Of course, each commander comes with a various set of bonuses that they add into the specific levels. When we click on Hector, for example, you can see that he has uh, three aptitude uh, for finance and then, of course, also for leadership. These stats are given uh, to your combined stats that you saw in the, just before and you get these stats here once per level so 
if you go from level 60 to 61 you will get three extra aptitude you will get four finance and four leadership added to your total that we showed before and basically the totals uh, that are shown is like combined of all the commander levels that you have and how highly you have upgraded them and based on their overall uh, attributes that they add to the tavern of course and this also shows that if you want to focus on specific things such as leadership then you might want to focus on commanders like Hector or Zack um, because they are focused on leadership if you want comment rate then you can take Zack or and Julian for example and so on so on so you can set up your tavern bonuses based on what you want to achieve with it and what you want to focus on and what you want to max out first and it's fairly simple how it works each commander has also a um, favorite thing uh, food drink item that they that you can use to upgrade them and these items give various uh, points for example this book gives 10 points but since sex like uh, sex like uh, likes books then you want to give it to him then you will get the double amount so you get 20 points of stat and that applies to all the different tiers of um, items that you have if you give them something they are that's not their favorite they will just give the 10 points that is normal for purple it's 50 so double up it's 100 and for gold it's 200 and double up it's 400 so uh, that's how the level up system at least works in the tavern as well and allows you to kind of speed up the process on specific commanders that you want to upgrade so obviously before we also mentioned that the awakening of commanders has an influence on the tavern uh, both in terms of allowing the increased uh, friendship level and also in terms of the stats that are available for each commander and the reason for that is because that once you reach awakening level 2 with a commander it unlocks the additional friendship increased by one star uh, level tier and for any for example it would be an increase to i believe it's combat rate aptitude and finance and the good thing is that if your commander has three things then you will get one star to all three string things and if your commander has only two things then you'll get one star to two things and so on so it basically increases your star rating or the amount that you get per level um, by one uh, in that specific stat so let's say that Annie maybe has three combat um, normally uh, in the tavern but when she gets the second tier awakening upgrade then she will go from having three combat to four combat instead and that will basically increase the overall amount by the level that she is and that's super important uh, in that regard if you want to focus on something specific or upgrade something specific keep also in mind that each uh, awakening level um, allows you to increase the tavern friendship level by five for each time so I would highly recommend that you try to get as many commanders upgraded to the awakening stage 2 so that you can get uh, the stats of whatever you need uh, upgrade faster as well and it all helps out in the game as well but uh, before we finish off this video, we are going to take a look at a site that I find very useful uh, that can help us all the friendship stuff that we uh, will also quickly take a look at and explain how it works. So lastly, before ending this video, I wanted to show you all this gaming tool, um, which is uh, focused around the friendship calculator for uh, Game of Thrones Windows Coming. Uh, it has all the commanders in, it shows what the different commanders has in terms of stats. Uh, what level you can set them to quality and so on and then you can show or set the system up in a way that allows you to focus on specific things for example I've set it to focus on our leadership and then it says that the next thing that I should upgrade is virus with desserts Kevin with books and that I should upgrade Enzo uh, let's Karen uh, and stuff like that uh, to promote whatever I need uh, faster to so so it's a useful tool to kind of help you through the game and I will leave the link to it down in the description and you can also see it on the screen right now if you want to go in to it and mess around with it a bit you can save the profile and add it into uh, 
the page later on so you don't have to redo it every single time very useful tool in my opinion and that's going to be everything for me today i hope you found this video useful i wish you all a great weekend uh, like and comment if you want to subscribe to the channel if you're new and if you want to play the game then there's going to be a link down in the description below as well as for the friendship calculator that i have on the screen right now so take care guys bye bye